called rolls, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick something. I think I'm just gonna pick a Zier. I haven't played a Zier in forever. I actually wanna try him. Um, it's been a while since I played this champion, but I think a Zier's still pretty good. Now this is one of the few champions where I maybe consider taking off Feast to get points in the Sorcery because of how CDR scales with them, but I don't think it's worth it. I think this is very standard. They got some pretty powerful picks. Rhaegar is really annoying to play with as this champ, but it should be okay. Apart from Jungle AD Carry, what are the roles that are also dominated by two, three picks? Uh, I think that's just it. Like, top lane. Honestly, every meta has two or three flavor picks that are always really, really good. And every role, but the, the full domination only really comes from jungle. Like, ADs, I feel like you can kind of work around it as well. I just want, I want there to be a lot of changes in season five. Like I want there, I want to be flooded with information. Um, but I'm, I mean, I guess I'm looking for like really big changes. I want, I want there to be uh, more individual carry potential from players. I want there to be uh, more items, which in turn will increase champion diversity just because, like I feel like Items are really important. I want them to maybe consider changing draft. I'm not a huge fan of how draft works right now. I much prefer the Dota system at the moment. But I kind of understand why they want to keep it like this. I feel like drafting in general is like really important, but also really not. And I don't really know how to explain this. I, I, I just don't know how to explain my, my idea of how draft works right now. I feel like it's extremely important, and then I also feel like it's, it's extremely like overrated. So... I. I'm at kind of a weird point with draft and then the drafting phase in general. How do you carry as AD carry when your team is feeding? Smash the lane. Like, so some games aren't winnable. Like, straight up, you're not going to win every game. The best solo key player in the world doesn't win every game. I mean, he wins about 70% of them. Which is really, really good. Uh, I actually think Apto is better than Incarnation in solo queue, but Incarnation is really good, definitely up there. Mm -hmm. 
I think Azir will see a lot of play in Spring Split. Assuming he doesn't get changed. House. I'm never leaving. I'm staying here for the rest of my life. Do you think Goku and AD carry will work out? <laughs> That's something that I can't say anything about. I have no idea. I don't follow the Chinese thing well enough to be able to make a, an adequate uh, opinion there. The Every, anything I'd say there would just be bad. Jace. Oh shit! Did that mean to take Ignite? Oh, I'm sure it's fine. There's only literally one thing you can scale on this champ at one, and that is Sand Soldier. No sacrifice is too great. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Ah. <laughs> if Apto smart what Apto made more money in like two weeks than any LCS pro makes in a year. Danny like two LCS pros making a year. He made eighty thousand dollars getting to rank one, and that's not even including how much money he made while streaming as well. Like that guy, no top streamer should ever look to go pro unless they have like a real want to be competitive, because it's just like not worth it for them. It's so much stress, so much pressure for, for what? Like I, I can understand it. I play as a pro. I, I, I focus more as a professional player than I did trying to uh, stream or improve my brand. But um, in any kind of logical sense, I feel like most people would just choose to not do that because, <laughs> like, like players like Trick and Night Blue and Phantom Lord and stuff like that make uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it's like that's way more than you're ever gonna get get uh, being a player. I legitimately haven't been paying attention to what this, this guy's been saying. Who denies our right to rule? Oh Dude, this champ feels so awkward for me now. I don't even know why. I missed all the CS in that in that initial lane. Jesus. Oh, I'm 2 CS after like one and a half waves. This is pretty bad. Loyalty will be rewarded. I'm gonna hold back for a little bit. I don't think I need to really push up right here. Uh, Rengar could potentially gank me from one of these two sides, Rengar's over there. We had zone going, going that way, which is unfortunate. I'll probably hit three out this cannon though, so I don't know if I need to be too worried. He's looking for us, I, I need to just wait for the creep wave, okay. That was a good collapse for my team, though. I am Shurima's dog. I need to be careful about my mana usage. Wow, I missed the Q. Ugh. It's really bad. Eventually, 
The sands claim us all. I is what you want to be doing in your uh in this kind of stuff is just I'm dead anyways. I'm not gonna go for anything too crazy there. Uh, I think the only thing I really want here is... I want Morellos. I don't know how what I really want for it though. Whoa. Oh, it still doesn't do the um... Typically when I like ab ab abilities like this, I, I try to like, hit past my cast range, and I assume it's automatically going to attack the nearest thing, but it didn't work out for me there, and so that's unfortunate. Let's see what I'll add this. I'm going to go to deep. None know the will of the desert better than I shall. Wow. The order is given! Max Q for the most, uh, the cooldown is really, really important on Q Max, actually. Man, missing this, oh my god, missing, you want the Q to hit, because it does 160 damage, like, you're, I'm missing out on a lot of damage, because I'm not judging the Q correctly. Which is unfortunate. Those who follow me, follow destiny. Does he not have pots? Ooh, I can push this guy out easily then. If he hasn't have pots. He has to leave now. He's a shock box for CS and that's it. Really? Oh my goodness. Nothing's gonna happen here. We are the authors of history. I actually worked out well for me. I, I wasn't sure if I could get I could get that. Um How courses through. Ooh, wow, what a good dive by Aurelia. Excellent, actually. Join me, and be elevated. <laughs> really? God. I hate when that shit happens when you hit the 6 and you, you skill the wrong ability. That's just terrible. Shurima lives in me. I'm actually buy, I'm gonna buy a lot of pots. I can I can destroy this guy, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm, a, I'm already winning lane, even though my CS is garbage. Like, don't worry about that part. Um, I just need the mana regen to be able to consistently harass in this lane, and that's what Forbidden Idol gives me. I actually hit him with the initial one there. Oh wow, he hit me with the Shock Blast as well. That's not good. No way he's hitting me with that. I don't want to push out the wave, really. Okay. I want to be careful. My ulti's up in 13. Like, I don't want to push out too far because I don't know where the juggler is. He's about to hit 6 too. Really? Yeah. I should have just immediately ulted. Whatever, my bad. Grab the boots here. I think I, I clicked past my soldier again and I wasn't able to get the, uh, the E before I got bullied and I died because of it. So I just didn't play the champion correctly. 
the ascendant shall guide humanity to greatness. All my deaths are to this jungler, though. Shirima's legacy will endure. I only need a super hard shove right now. Regular ulti will be down for a little bit. What does he have? Yeah, it'll be down for a little bit. I don't think that gank should ever work on an Azir who's paying attention though. The unworthy have no place in history. Or I should say a good Azir. We walk a path. We are made by our choices. Okay, see the right guard. He's trying to have ulti up in one minute. No, no not one minute, like twenty seconds. Why was he moving up that direction? I have a feeling... It just feels like someone's here. Like the Rengar is here. I just can't play too up on this guy. It sucks because I have to, I have to play around Rengar. Okay. Oh my god, I was right. I think as soon as I see the exclamation mark, I should just be casting ulti. Because what happens then is that uh, it just comes out immediately. No, yeah, there's no reason that Jace moves up like that to try to zone unless the Rengar is here. I just made a monster Katarina play, you'd be proud. I just made a monster Azir play, you'd be proud too. I am Shurima's What'd you do? What the heck? The Q didn't come out immediately. Okay, whatever. See what I actually think it's really hard for Jace to play out this lane if he doesn't get a Mar. I can still win this lane. I have no problems about winning this lane. Uh, but the red guard is gonna just be annoying. It's whatever. If you play a, so a solo lane, you're gonna get get camped. Or if you play a laner, you're gonna get camped someday. It just for me that day is more often than not. I really don't have anything I want to buy, to be honest. I'd like to get a large rod buy and look to either go Zanya's or, or uh, Deathcap, but until then, like, I didn't have enough gold for Sword Shoes, and I, I wouldn't even want to buy Sword Shoes without buying the other stuff first. Fine. I'm maxing W second because I just prefer it. I think E maxing is not ideal. Ah. Oh no, they have giant now. With the word I am. Oh my god. I should have turned back around. I, I gotta wait for free. I'm gonna get sword shoes now. 
I misplayed that so hard, though. How are we doing across the map? How did I really lose her turret first, though, if she's up 4 1? Everyone will know the name, Shuri. Interesting. What has been lost. Okay. For some reason, it seemed like they had staggered autos. I think this Jace blow is actually really bad. What? I actually hate that. You're back. What happens is a, 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 your Watch Pass Soldier just sometimes just does no damage. For no reason. Uh, it's like you go out of range at the very last minute and then all of a sudden you just don't. Ranger is here. I will return to He does it, he does it. It just feels so weird. I, I can't get like the WQ very cleanly. Sucks I wasn't able to get two kills. I can, I'm telling you, I can almost turn these gangs for me too. Almost. Alright. Yeah, for some reason, I can't get a clean WQ off. Like, I cast both abilities and it just does not come out smoothly. That's just really killing me right now. I'm not quite sure what our ribbon's been ended up doing. She has a lot of farm, but. Okay. Oh my god, please go after it. Oh my. I'm gonna break this fast. I'll actually work the lane as well. Okay, Ori Rift Cap. I got a shield with Q. I actually like that matchup. Or you like hard stuff with your cap. Yeah, but I still like playing the matchups. It's like, if you can make it even, it's, I don't know. Are you ever gonna make it even? I think it's possible. Like, if you ever try and tempo in and all, you just die. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, I think it's possible to. to holy shit. Oh, I don't so understand cool. how Cat can ever win this unless she gets, like, three kills early. Just shield every gear. Holy shit. I did not expect this. Uh, you distracted me, Pablo. I'm almost losing this game because of you. What are you playing? Azir. Oh. I'm getting hard camp by Rengar, but I, I can still pull this game back. Hmm. Not 
Getting much. the large rod is just hard. The 1600 gold is just annoying to get. Holy shit, Lucian has 170 CS. He's the IRS. How is he ever gonna be that? That's such a big throw from him, he was 4-1-2. Man. We are made by our I'm just gonna go for blue buff. Okay, my W is maxed. Uh, one second cooldown, and it comes back every four, five point four, which is really really good. I can like space out their whole team as long as my cat doesn't have flash. Wow. How are we? Oh, uh, it's because because it really is not here. We can't defend it. Okay, see, that felt really clean. I don't know what happened before, but I couldn't get a clean one. Like, right there, I couldn't get a clean one. I think I just have to spam Q. There's like a certain point in the, in the middle of the W animation I can't cancel. That's what it looks like. This game is so silly. Ow, pain. I don't even know what we're doing, to be honest. Legitimately, I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to siege. I don't know what our response to it is. It's like me trying to hold off on before, essentially. Ow. 
Holy shit. This is where I lost. I'm good. I could have stayed and killed Jace, but it would have came at the expense of me dying as well. Which means it's probably not worth it, in other words. I just think if I pick up Zanius here, I'm unkillable. I also buy three pots as to stand against Jace. Okay. I'm gonna push in for their red. I think it might be the best thing for me to do. We are made by our choices. We are came, almost got me. I'm good to go though. Nice, he even got the sun off for me. Excellent. I'm back for Seekers! This Riven threw her lead so hard, she was 4-1. Or not Riven, uh, really. The Riven was behind all game, and so was the other guy. This game is pretty much just on me to carry, which is fine. I'm actually on a champion that I can carry on, so... My team is incredibly weak. It's literally I'm 1v5 in this game. What? Like, like that move right there? Oh god. I'm scared of this, to be honest. I don't want to build a turret yet. Oh, pain. Join me and be Maybe carry this game. The, the problem here is I still don't flash up. Um, if Maka ever flash ultis me, I'm dead instantly. Or flash uh, goes on me, I'm dead instantly. Especially without Zanyas. But with, I mean, disregarding that, I think we're in a good spot. Or I'm in a great spot. I don't know about the, about the rest of my team. The rest of my team is kind of in a whatever spot. I can I can kill this Rengar. The real question is, who else is with the Rengar? A ruler must choose his power. 
I'm out. Your oh, I can actually make a turret on this? Excellent. Like, we don't have an initiator on this team, so... Everyone's diving for me, Jesus Christ. Get this tower for free. Next one, different story. Actually, back off. I don't even fight anything here. He's not looking to ulti. I'm backing off. I have, I have done this. That's actually great for me, because then that means I can actually, um, I can actually play around their initiation now. Whereas before, I would just die instantly if they initiated well. Hundred ACS. The Riven actually, the thing, the thing about Riven is, I don't think she's. I'm fine conceding burns. At this point, it's like, I mean, I we I don't have the I don't have the vision to 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 get it. So, oh, that Ezreal build is actually awful. Yep, check that. No, legitimately, I just need someone here. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the kind of initiation that, that only works if you're not fully grouped. Because I was actually really, like, I was all the way back here when I got initiated on. Uh, I don't think that kind of initiation should... Oh, they can actually... I can push him off solo. They definitely can't siege without Rengar. Like if they try to siege without Rengar and Maokai, I will destroy them. Oh, my passive being up actually helps out a lot though. It would help out more if our mid turret was alive, but uh... Huh? I just don't want to accidentally click it. Loyalty will be rewarded. Yeah, if he's actually like if he's lagging, then there's nothing I can like that can uh, fix that. I just have to get void, which because all of them are gonna get MR, 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 MR. Uh, I can still do full damage to Lucian. I can kill him in three hits. Uh, it's it's two Qs and two others can kill Lucian right now for me. 
Sounds ridiculous, but that's how much damage I do at the moment. We walk a path of radiance. No, you don't want to use your passive immediately because uh, it time it, it slowly loses health over time, or it loses health at a consistent rate over time. We are the authors of history. Uh, so yeah, my last item is, or this is going to be Void, and this last item right here is probably going to be something to prevent initiation. We can defend this. We should give this up. You need not follow, but you must witness. Just give it. It's not worth it. It's legitimately not worth it. Everyone will know the name Shuri. If you ulti, that's fine. Wasn't able to carry, unfortunately. The flash, the flash, initial crit killed me instantly. I don't think Zonis really mattered either, but I was trying to Zonis anyways. No, I was that was so close to me being able to. They were they were like all within. I could have killed them in like two Qs or something. One Q. No, it was it was it was. I was proud for me to to one v five that there, but. Let me go ahead and, and uh, play some ads. I'll be right back. Is uh, is better than grill if you don't need anymore. I was against five ads, four ads, three ads plus god guide. Um, Keep up on morales. 